computers. I'm going to present to you our work, uh, which is Notebooks as Aviary. Uh, this is an extension we built on Jupyter that allows users to scale and execute their notebooks into cloud environments. This demo presents the following concepts. First, prototype the code in Jupyter. Next, containerize the cells as Docker containers. Then, compose the workflow from these cells. And finally, execute the workflow on an Argo workflow engine. We open the Python notebook. The purpose of this notebook is to retile large point cloud datasets. That is to split large LiDAR 3D scans into smaller parts so we can apply AI classification algorithms on these files. The important part of this serve is the header comment, uh, which is going to be used uh, as the name of the container. If we open the containerizer and select a cell, we can see a preview of the component on the left. This cell fetches a list of point cloud files, which are then used by the next cell to perform the retiling operation. In this cell, we declare the output as a list. This is necessary if we want to use parallelization. We also add the WebDAV authorization token. Now uh, we are ready to add this cell to the catalog. Uh, this practically means that we containerize the code as a Docker image and push it into a Docker hub. We do the same for the rest of the cells. Now we open the experiment manager uh, in which we see the cells we previously uh, containerized are now available as components and we can build our workflow. The first is the is fetching a list of files from a web dot server, while the second is Rita is applying the retiling operation onto the files. We can now uh, drag and drop the components onto the workflow composer. So we have first the uh, com the component that's fetching the files and the um, retiling operation next. To take advantage of the parallelization, we put the splitter between those two components. Uh, this will generate as many instances as the input files. We can also control the amount of parallelization with the scaling factor. We can now generate the workflow and pass it over for execution into the Argo workflow engine. We can also now open the Infrastructure Automator. The Infrastructure Automator allows us to build and provision a virtual infrastructure within various cloud providers. Uh, from this configuration, we have two options. One is to create a standard infrastructure or uh, a custom infrastructure where we can change the uh, cloud provider or the number of uh, virtual machines. Here, uh, we select uh, the standard, we provision the uh, infrastructure. We see that the cluster has been generated uh, with two virtual machines and the uh, Argo workflow engine endpoint. Now that we have Argo, uh, we can uh, submit the workflow we just uh, generated. And now we can upload it to the Argo uh, workflow engine. Uh, here we open the uh, workflow to be submitted and we provide as input parameter the token to access the WebDAV server. We see that the uh, first uh, task has been completed and we see the scaling taking effect. All these tasks are instances of the same uh, task which was applying the retiling operation. We can see gradually all these tasks being successful, where finally the entire workflow has been successfully uh, completed. Thank you very much. This was our demonstration.